Hey, welcome to week four of Breakthrough, where we're talking about the four stages of our spiritual life and the barriers that keep us from breaking through. Today we're talking about the spiritual stage of following it. Here's a recap from this past Sunday's message. This week, Corey talked about what it means to follow Jesus, and he shared that the biggest barrier that we face is the temptation to be a spiritual consumer rather than a disciple maker. Corey said that there were a number of breakdowns when we approach spiritual growth with a consumer mindset. The first is that we can become inwardly focused. You know, it's not uncommon to hear from Christians that they want to go deeper, but sometimes what they really are saying is they want more of what they already have. Those who love the Bible want more Bible study. Those who have an intimate prayer life want a more intimate prayer life. The second is that we can become overly critical. In a consumer society, a consumer feels empowered simply because he has an opinion. And the consumer's job isn't to improve a product, but to fill out a survey or take his business elsewhere. In church, Corey said, criticism is easy, but leadership is hard. Sometimes we blur the distinction between those two things. The third breakdown is that a consumer mindset stunts our growth. You see, when everything is catered to our desires, then we never have to learn things like patience and perseverance and self-discipline and self-sacrifice. Lastly, consumerism can render us unfruitful. If a consumer is concerned with his or herself, then in the church we'll be primarily concerned with our own growth, and as a result we won't serve others, we won't teach others, we won't focus on the growth of others. So the breakthrough then is to move from a consumer mindset to a disciple maker mindset. This is ultimately what Jesus is calling all of his disciples to. Not for our happiness or self-actualization or to give us more insight into personal growth. The purpose of the church is to make disciples. And of course how this works might look different for each of us. But for the, all of us who are following it, we're challenged with the task to move from a consumer mindset to a disciple making mindset. Now next week we'll talk more about our church's plan for doing just that. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us and have a great small group meeting.